Welcome back everybody. I have a very simple setup today for an acid slash dark techno bass lead and this is what it sounds like. As you can see, there's not really a lot going on here. So you have tons of room to mess around with the sound, try different wavetables and the like. So let's go ahead and just get started and see what we can do here. The wavetable that I'm using for this bass is under Glorglunk and is the Grand Sparkle wavetable. Now, just listening to this on its own, there's really not a lot of exciting things happening. We put on vocode and start lowering it. For this bass, I have it on about 14%. Anytime you're kind of hoping to get a darker timbre out of something, I very much uh, recommend putting vocode on it and putting it down some. And you can even double up by putting a formant on here. And let's go ahead and just knock it down to about 30%. Now it's super quiet. It's also, uh, you need to turn the voices down for a bass like this and maybe turn up the glide a little bit. You don't have to always have it on, but it's good to have some glide and have some control of that for basses like this because it can create some really cool effects. So let's go ahead and start throwing on the effects for which for this bass is just a frozen chorus that sits all the way down. And what that's doing is duplicating the, the sound and just layering it on top. And for this kind of bass, we can actually turn the phase randomization off and just have that lasery effect come in and make it stronger. Turn on the glide a little bit. Next up, we can just throw on distortion and crank it. And this is just going to beef up our sound to new heights. Now before I throw the compressor on, I'm going to go ahead and start messing with the filter. And the reason I'm using a filter is because we're going to use the compressor to bring back a lot of the, the mid and kind of high, but we're using a bandpass here. We're going to knock this down, let's say anywhere around here, you can experiment. So you have kind of a good range here. But what I ended up actually doing for this sound is, let's say enter the value 50. I actually took an LFO and I just brought it all the way up, put it on here, and then let's put this at 30, and it's gonna put it in a good spot, but it also allows me to use this LFO to shape some of the uh, sound later if I wanna really change it up, so. And now when we throw our compressor on, we can really. get a really cool sound out of it. Now to get that acidy feel, we're just gonna take an LFO and create a ramp and maybe knock it up to 116 to match the plux. And we're just gonna throw it on the vocode and see kind of how it changes the sound. And all of a sudden this sound has just become infinitely cooler in my opinion. You'll see if I turn off format here, it makes kind of a mess, so it's performing definitely cleaning up the sound a lot. And the vocode is really bringing out that acid feel to it. Now you can increase the depth of the chorus to add some really cool different variations. You can even add a bit of a delay. And what I like to do here is just put this on seconds and really crank it in to make it adds kind of a phase comb effect to it. To double up on the plucky effect, we can even take the LFO2 and put it on the level, turn it to where it originally was, and then start to mess with it there. So for instance, we can bring this up here. All of a sudden you've got a really cool pluck bass that you can throw under a melody or something that just makes it sound dope. Messing around with the wavetables can get you a couple cool effects, like making it sound more squarey. And the list goes on. Now with all of my tutorials, I take the patch and I throw it in a giant folder that you can get access to for just a few bucks. Uh, I'm going to be honest, this patch isn't super exciting, so if you want to see what is in there, I would definitely check out some of my other tutorials, because there's not only all those sounds in there from my videos, 
but also some really cool extras. I also have a Discord server where people come in and talk, and personally, I am trying to get it going a little bit more, so if you're interested in catching streams for feedback or things like that, go ahead and look in the description for a link to the Discord, and yeah, just come on, say hi. I'd love to meet you and uh, talk with you. And that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Just wanted to get a smaller one out to you guys. Uh, I'm gonna be putting out a few more little ones like this just to get some good foundation going to build from. So if you're looking for that, stay tuned, guys.